hot lap scenario at Daytona, all stock in the Honda, no tunes, no upgrades. Brung what you brung, clean laps will count. All drivers are off. Who's got the stuff? Obviously, everybody wants to set the fastest lap, but the most important thing is it has to be clean. So, it's, a, it's about finding the fine line between a clean lap and a fast lap. Bus stop is going to be a tricky corner for drivers. The new racing line uh, regulations is going to made the racing line a little tighter, made it a little slower. Definitely seeing some different racing lines from a lot of the drivers. Some breaking much deeper into the into the bus stop, and others breaking much before. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. It being a front wheel drive car as well, it takes a lot longer for the tire temps to get up to actually get a little bit of that stickiness that lightweight front engine, front wheel drive Honda. A lot of the drivers looks like they uh, opted to run the heart racing livery. It wasn't necessarily needed, but it's a, a great nod the partnership of heart racing as well. It does look like a beautiful machine in this game. Not the exact car that you find in real life that they run AMSA, but it is close enough. Very pretty. Heavy braking using yeah, all of the track. Like I'm an angry girlfriend. Oh, it was Zuma. Yeah, let's just say he's uh, not going to make it. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I woke up sideways in the toilet. Yeah, the dirty laps are uh, definitely a... Uh, I don't want to say like a disadvantage to some of these tracks, but it's not the best. So, kind of having a, a less of a turnout actually bodes well for some of the drivers who uh, are unlucky with the clean laps. Behind him, Spectre, followed, followed by Al. I, uh, I don't think so, because so we're, far, we're struggling to get below the 55. flyer and they're already in their 55s. I cannot wait to see what these guys do. We've got Chaz with a 154.69 right now. Bobby P 
Steve throwing up some good lap times. 154.6 already. Oh yeah, yeah, this is knowing the limitations of the car, knowing the torque steer coming out of corners, knowing brake lines and the heavy braking areas in the infield and into turn one, plus stop. Oh yeah, well VIR is definitely going to be probably the more technical of the tracks but with less assist regulations, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you guys can include your audio. Just make sure you're watching what you guys are saying. Let's jump around to the field, see what's going on uh, everywhere else. Only three tenths between Harmonic and Spectre. Oh, and then Harmon mm. Harmonic improves just as I say that. Yeah. Chasmo getting down to a 154.2. Yeah, harmonic up to a 154.4 in lobby A. Harmonic using every bit of the road. Let's go back to Fujiwara. Let's see how he's doing. I don't know more than Fujiwara here. 56 so far out of him. Doing a great job keeping it clean through turn one. All the way out to the apron, getting on the power early. Heads down towards the International Horseshoe. Great run, a little glow of the brakes, hard under braking. Out across the Paris wheel. Oh, oh going a little, wide. a little wide. That's, uh, that's going to dirty that lap. Unfortunate, but still has a lot of time left. A lot of time to make up there. Let's jump around on the field. wide on top of the banking, using the elevation to gain speed to the bottom of the track. That mid line going low. The sound of all those Honda engines on the same track sounds like a a pack of bees. For a while, I thought Fuji R was just hitting the rev over every time, but I think he's running clutch, so that's probably why. Yeah, yeah, it was the same. It took, it took same a second. A whole bunch of the other cars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was just uh, just watching him go around the back side of the track. It was pretty awesome. Harmonic's pulling away with a 54-4. Yeah. This is supposed to be a lap time race, but Anabi and Spectre are nose to tail through the midsection. So we've got to tell them that this isn't an actual race. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to stop them. Uh, Gil, turn, uh, Discord around. Uh... Al Neve in third place, still keeping Spectre honest. He's only about three tenths away. Much gooder. Thank you very much. much yeah, gooder. ripped those clean laps. They're, they're a pain. You wouldn't think Daytona is a troublesome, troublesome track for clean laps, but... Here it is, going wide in turn one or going through the bus stop. It's a very fine line to keep that speed up and to have a clean lap here. As you're noticing, Spectre going the low line as Anabi goes high to go low, trying to carry the momentum of gravity through NASCAR three and four. Where's my bang? My bang? Jump up front with Harmonic. He's all by his lonesome out in front of the grid right it. now with a 154.4. And uh, 
guys behind him and not far away. A good corner will get him right up in the battle for the top spot. Spectre with a 54-8. Had to be with a 55-4. This is about a 6 or 7 tenth gap between 30 and 4. A little bit spread out, but still competitive. Be much, yeah. much closer in the race. Definitely. Having the luxury of the physical car not on track as well spreads cars out a lot faster. Let's jump uh, in the back here a little bit, see what's going on in the action. Slade got that tight line horseshoe. Nice and tidy. I don't know why, but watching the brakes glow red as they're heavy under braking in these cars just makes me smile. A little tiny Honda race car with glowing rotors. Thank you all for uh, showing up to watch the stream, by the way. Really appreciate it. This is just the beginning. Two more rounds of racing to go. This is just basically a qualifying round. With stealth here. Heading out of NASCAR 4 down the front straight. MPH Expert 38 finally gets a clean lap in and he jumps up to 6th place. Nice improvement. Um, probably should have hit somebody in there, but they're getting probably pretty close. Probably got a few laps left. I think my ticker's messed up. It just it's said lap 33 for a while. How much left, how much is left in the session? Um, I don't have anybody physically in the, the session to find out. That's one of the the downfalls of the Forza ticker when you're doing qualifying runs is it doesn't tell you the physical time left in the round. It's different when you're doing an actual race, but when you have it set up for qualifying, there is no countdown of track time unfortunate it is unfortunate but there are ways to get around it when you're running an actual series one of the guys that's in the race can tell you or have an admin in the actual race as a safety car tell you that way hopefully they uh turn 10 and forza will improve even more on the the racing adjustments that they've thrown Not all have been bad. A lot of them have been forward thinking in the sim racing world. It's much appreciated for us sim racing guys that love to do this kind of thing. Jump on board a little bit. The Adobe in the battle with Spectre on track. Second and first. Oh, Spectre goes wide in the International Horseshoe. Turn three. I'm going to say that's going to be a dirty lap. Yeah. <laughs> that wide entry for Anabi into the Horseshoe. Nice and tight on the exit. Making sure not to go too wide. Heavy under braking. To uh, NASCAR one. Spectre starting to close in on Harmonic's time. It's about four tenths behind. We'll, uh, jump on board with Harmonic for a little bit as 
he heads down towards the bus stop. Have your under braking, keeping the car nice and settled. Rolling onto the throttle using all of the apex on the way out into NASCAR 3. at 55.1 now. Spectre running that 55.2. They are that was only about nose one tail tenth of Spectre's time. Yeah. Still some great racing here laps remaining. to the wall in NASCAR 1 carrying as much of that front wheel horsepower as he can LMR harmonic top spot on track top step in qualifying at a time so far as this car runs it gets faster so we'll see who's got got pace when the tires are all hot Used to the car on track. Spectre here as he's running the low line through three and four NASCAR towards the front finish line there. without a drinks bottle. Improvements from a couple of the guys in the back of the pack. Great job. Yeah. Stream, I know you can't see it, but I got a smile on my face seeing how close these laptops are. Who has the fastest time in B-Lock? You gotta wait for me to figure this real through real quick. So it's going a little wide through the bus stop. The fastest lap so far is a 54.6 by SVR Chasma. Nice.
Yeah. Yeah, 54 4. That was awesome, guys. Look at that. Alright. Save your previous race, send it to me, Lobby B. Alright. That is not all Twitch stream. We have two more rounds. Basically, everybody that was in Lobby A and Lobby B will be on the grid for the next round uh, of the Heart Racing Challenge. It will be at VIR. Uh, under Forza Racing uh, settings, basically, it'll be cosmetic damage with default collisions. It is going to be a great race. Stay tuned. We got about a little 10, 15 minute break so we can get everyone put together uh, in a lobby and get that rolling. It is going to be a good one. So stand up, stretch your legs. You don't want to miss this.